kidding? These cards are real weapons. I'm not joking. Hello and welcome Thank digital friends. Me. If you are new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe, write comments and give this video a thumbs up. I will learn a lot of crazy and exciting things every week that will push me to my limits, so you won't regret it. This week I learned how to throw an ordinary playing card as fast as a bullet and as sharp as a knife. These are just normal playing cards, but I really want to point out that you should not try this technique on humans, animals or other creatures. Find a safe place to practice and please make sure that you don't hurt anyone. Some years ago I saw a video of someone who managed to throw a normal playing card like this into an apple at a distance of 2 meters. I was immediately blown away and I really wanted to know how it works. I got a couple of decks of cards like this one and I tried to throw the cards like in the video without any success. I gave up and never tried again. Until today. I wanted to film the first part of this video and just do some test throws. Throws, throw, throws, throws. To be honest, I thought it would take forever, but I wanted to practice under the same circumstances from the beginning. So I screwed an apple onto a microphone tripod, set up two cameras, one GoPro on my head, one to film the apple directly, and started the stopwatch. Imagine there's a stopwatch. Round one, throw. eine Karte in einen Apfel zu werfen. I was surprised that it worked that well. The cards flew really fast and I felt like I could actually do it. At this point I was totally on fire. My girlfriend thought I had finally gone crazy. Oh. <laughs> Aber hast du gesehen, wie knapp das war? Wenn so einer halt trifft, dann steckt das im Apfel, glaube ich. Glaube ich. But suddenly. <lacht> Schatzi, nicht der Ernst. Jawohl. Okay, ich muss ihn, ich muss ihn drehen. Yes. Ah. Ah. I thought this would take so much longer, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but I, I did it in what? Tw 12 minutes? <laughs> 12 minutes. Okay, now it's 13 minutes, but oh gosh, but I made a mess. I made a huge mess. But look at that. It is crazy. <laughs> when I saw the footage and I noticed that everything was crooked and overexposed, I decided to try again. But first, a brief magical interruption. You wanna see a magic trick? Of course you do. Everybody loves magic, right? So here's a regular deck of cards. 
we are going to flip through the cards and you can say stop whenever you want. Okay? Let's go. Okay. Stop. Yeah? Here? Okay, let's put this under here. And I won't look, I won't look, okay? This is your card. Remember this card. Got it? Okay. So I'll put it back and then give this a good mix. Oh gosh. We'll mix it good. Like this. Okay. Then I'm going to flip through the cards again and the top card should be your card, okay? Let's go. Yes. This is your card, huh? No? Th this was not your card? Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> Just a second. Okay. This is your card. No? Oh man, I... I think, I think I forgot the trick, dang it. Okay, let's move on to round two. Round two, throw. <laughs> this looks so dumb. Okay, let, let's go. So, close the door and here's everything. So. Forget about the... Oh, okay, I will pick up some of these cards. Yes, okay, should be enough. Then turn on the camera. So it is in focus. Let's go. It's recording, okay. So it's uh, the, the same distance like before. So here's this mat. I will stand here, exactly here. And there's uh, the apple, so let's do this again. Grab it like this. Nope. thousand throws later <laughs> it was the the okay don't freak out it is it is recording. It is enough. I did it twice in one day. This is amazing. I, I'm pretty amazed. Thank you, Apple. I actually did it a second time and that really fast. It is not as hard as you might think. So here's a quick tutorial on how I did it. Okay, first step, hold the card between your index and your ring finger. Then angle them a little bit, so just the corner is between your fingers, like this. Then hold the card right next to your ear, and then it is one fluid motion, like this. Make sure you release the card at the exact end of your movement, like here. And make sure that the card is horizontal, not vertical. It will fly much better and faster. That's all, and the rest is practice. And maybe it will work for you as fast as for me. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. And also click on the notification bell. If you love the content, please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below what I should learn or do next. I would be so happy to see you in the next video. Until then, stay healthy, stay happy and stay curious.